Hello students. This video is for class 7 and the topic is respiration in other animals. In other videos I have explained about respiration in human beings, mechanism of breathing and many other points are already described. But today I am going to explain about the respiration in other animals. There are different types of animals found on earth. Different species are there. They are, they are mammals, they are reptiles, they are amphibians, fishes. And they all have different, different body parts or organs through which they respire. Through which they respire. So today I will explain about the different parts of the organs of these animals and how do they respire. How do they respire? The first one is in class 7. The first one is given about the earthworm. About the earthworm. You must have seen earthworm which are found. Mostly they are seen in uh, uh, rainy season. They come out from the soil and they are seen everywhere. Red color of worm. Segmented body. Their body is like uh, their body is of red color and they have so many segments on their body segments on their body. They are called earthworm. You know they have moist skin. They have moist skin. So they take oxygen from the atmosphere by the process of diffusion given to the cells. They take it from skin of and give it to the cells of their body and directly they get oxygen from the atmosphere by the process of diffusion. By the process of diffusion. Same frogs have also moist skin. They also go through the same process uh, of respiration. The second one is cockroach. The second one is cockroach. How do they respire? How do they respire? Cockroaches are insects and they actually they have branched air tubes with openings. Cockroaches have like this is the structure of the cockroach if you see properly they look like this huh and they have they have branched air tubes these air tubes are branched these air tubes are branched so many branches are there and they make network like structure in their body network inside their body of this branched tube and all the tubes have an opening at the side tiny openings are there in ke body ke side mein tiny openings hai through which they take oxygen present in the atmosphere ye atmosphere mein present oxygen ko is tiny holes ke dwara apne air tubes mein lete hain they take oxygen from the atmosphere through these tiny holes in their air tubes. As I told you, these air tubes are making network like structure inside their body. So, the inhaled air or absorbed air goes directly to their air tubes. Directly to their air tubes. So, they do not need red blood cells to carry to carry oxygen. That is why in cockroaches, yehi karan hai ki cockroaches ke jo blood hote hain, unme RBC missing hota hai. Their blood is white in color. Kyunki RBC ka jo major function hai, wo hai oxygen ko carry karna. Oxygen ko carry karna. Lekin yaha to oxygen wo directly they are taking from the atmosphere. They don't need to carry. So they don't have RBC. They lack RBC and the color of their blood is white. The color of their blood is white. This is what the reason in cockroaches. Now the next one is fishes. You must have seen fishes near their in their head part. Both the sides there are gills. Both the sides, there are gills in their, uh, in their head region. In their head region. So, if you open these gills, operculum, operculum is the covering of the gills. Aapne dekha hoga, uh, fishes ke dono side mein gills hote hain. If you open, this is called operculum. This is what called operculum. If you open this, then you'll get so many capillaries just like comb bilkul comb ki tarah capillaries hote hain richly supplied by blood vessels jo ki blood vessels se connected hote hain directly blood vessels se connected hote hain so how do they respire they take water in their mouth and they absorb oxygen present in the water 
ये पानी को अपने मुंह में बिल्कुल भर लेते हैं एंड देन जो ऑक्सीजन पानी में मौजूद है एच टू ओ हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन दीज ऑक्सीजन इज एब्जॉर्ब बाई द कैपिलरीज फाउंड इन देयर गिल्स कैपिलरीज फाउंड इन देयर गिल्स एंड दीज एब्जॉर्ब ऑक्सीजन डायरेक्टली गिवन टू द ब्लड वेसल्स विच आर कनेक्टेड टू द कैपिलरीज वो डायरेक्टली ब्लड वेसल्स को ऑक्सीजन दे देते हैं एंड देन दिस ब्लड सप्लाइज the the complete uh, uh, absorbed oxygen throughout the body, throughout the their body. This is how they absorb the oxygen and this is how they distribute the oxygen. So the oxygen is taken by fishes through their gills by absorbing it from the water. आपने बहुत बार देखा होगा पानी में जहाँ पे फिशेज होती हैं मछलियाँ होती हैं वहाँ पे बबल्स आते रहते हैं वाटर के सरफेस पे वाई दिस इज सो दिस इज बिकॉज दिस इज बिकॉज दे टेक वाटर एंड आफ्टर एब्जॉर्बिंग ऑक्सीजन दे रिलीज वाटर सो वेन दे रिलीज दे अपीयर्स लाइक बबल्स दे अपीयर्स लाइक बबल्स एंड दिस इज वॉट द रीजन यू सी बबल्स वेर एवर द फिशेज आर फिशेज आर प्रेजेंट इन द वाटर so this is what the process of taking uh, uh, oxygen by the fishes now plants how do plants respire plants respire through their plants respire through their different body parts different body parts first of all stomata stomata is present in the green parts of their body maybe young stem and leaves Stomata is a tiny opening. It is the tiny opening which has uh, holes in which has uh, uh, guard cells. See, this is what the stomo stomata where the guard cells are there. Through this hole, through this tiny opening, they take uh, uh, oxygen and uh, release carbon dioxide. Breathing and photosynthesis is different thing. Never get confused. कभी भी confused मत होइए. Photosynthesis is the process which is done during the day hour. This is the process by which plants prepare its own food. और photosynthesis के process में plants carbon dioxide लेते हैं और oxygen release करते हैं. लेकिन respiration is the process which is done by the plants 24 hours, just like human beings or other animals. in respiration what they do they take oxygen and release carbon dioxide but not in that much amount how much animals needed utne amount mein unhe oxygen ki zarurat nahi hoti hai jitne ki animals ko zarurat hai but they also respire throughout the day and night plants also respire so they respire through stomata uh, young stem and the leaves and if the stem is woody if the stem is woody then they have lenticels what do they have lenticels lenticels are what loosely packed dead cells in the form of tiny pores in the bark of trees in ke uh, trees ke bark mein tiny holes hote hain jo ki loosely packed cells mein paaye jate hain through that is known as lenticels through which plants respire the stem part of the plants respire through lenticels वो किससे ब्रीदिंग करते हैं लेंटिसल से रेस्पिरेशन प्रोसेस करते हैं देन रूट पार्ट रूट हैज रूट हेयर्स यू मस्ट हैव हॉर्ड अबाउट द रूट द रूट ऑफ द प्लांट द रूट ऑफ द प्लांट्स हैव वन थिन लेयर ऑफ सेल्स थिन लेयर ऑफ सेल्स है जिसे कि हम रूट हेयर्स भी कहते हैं और इसे हम कहते हैं इपीब्लेमा वॉट इट इज नोन एज इपीब्लेमा these thin layers of cells are known as epiblema and this epiblema is responsible for the respiration for the root parts of the plant what they do you know they absorb oxygen present in the soil ye soil mein present oxygen ko absorb karte hain and they supply to the different parts of the plant by the process and this is what the process of respiration in plants by the different different parts of the by the different different parts of the plants so this this explanation was about respiration in other animals i hope you people have understood it well if you have understood so please write the comment press the like button and wait for the next topic of the same chapter of class 7 and this this topic is good for class 10 also this topic is also in class 10 thank you all of you